You are going to be visited uh. by three ghosts. Oh, one of those movies. Don't expect the first one tomorrow at noon. The past, present, and future type. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is mary and merry christmas everybody because we are about to watch a movie i've never heard of until this year because i was researching christmas movies to watch and this one came up 1988 scrooged it has bill murray in it who i know from ghostbusters and groundhog day but other than that i don't really watch a lot of bill murray movies so this will be new for me and i'm going into this completely blind i haven't read the blurb i haven't read who else is in it i just know bill murray's in it because he's in the picture so i'm excited for this because i do love a good blind reaction and a lot of people really like this movie so i'm sure i will like it too before we do jump into it though i want to remind you guys about the uncut version that's going to be over on patreon the link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments below you just need a copy of the film yourself so that you can watch the movie along with me there'll be a timer that way we're watching the movie at the same time down in the description bar in the pinned comments you can also find me on all of the social media media handles instagram twitter twitch discord facebook tiktok all of those and you can also find my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel all right guys let's step into this movie blind i'm very excited so let's do this la 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 north pole okay starting off here this is cute oh no <laughs> the heck what was that it's suddenly violent. I thought it was a natural disaster. <laughs> Holy co What? What is going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on? You're being a real good boy. Oh, year. I was going to say, I think this is a kid's imagination. Psycho C, Santa's workshop. This. Oh, it's a movie within a movie? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Watch out for the alligator. Don't worry. <laughs> what the heck? Just waiting for him to say something. Show me the Scrooge promo. Be a satellite from New York, Bethlehem, Helsinki, <laughs> West Berlin, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, hey. Scrooge, starring Buddy Hackett, Jamie Farr. Buddy Hackett looks Gold like Dancer. Bill Murray. They don't seem too proud about that one. Oh my gosh. Does that suck? <laughs> you guys have got an ad with America's favorite old fart reading a book in the, front of a fireplace. The mirror is he a little bit blurry. Now, I have to kill all of you. Huh? Would love him as a boss. But the people already want to watch the show. That isn't good enough. Oh my. They have got to be so scared to miss it. So terrified. If I were in charge, <laughs> and I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so goofy? <laughs> Here's the kind of thing I would have done. Acid rain. Acid rain? Drug addiction. And drug addiction. Okay. This guy has got some screws loose up in his head. It is important to remember the true meaning of Christmas. Don't miss Charles Dickens' immortal classic screw. It's like a completely different thing now. My just it's literally a horror. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Exactly, does that air have to do with Scrooge? <laughs> Nothing. Why? Well, you can't show that commercial. You're gonna frighten people. <laughs> He's so scared. That thing looked like uh, the Manson Family Christmas special. <laughs> well, it's a little late to get this kind of feedback. That's because um, this is the first time I've ever seen it, sir. <laughs> You're right. I sung that. <laughs> Tough Great. crowd. Who is that guy? Elliot Loudermilk. Okay. Call security. Have them change his locks, clean <gasps> on his desk, and toss him out of the building. Oh. What? what? It's Christmas. Thank you. Call the county. He's <gasps> he's so mean. I'll just come home and I'll say, hi, honey. Um, we have to move to oh. a apartment. I hope you don't mind. Poor guy. Oh, hi, fellas. Thanks a lot. And Merry Christmas. Oh. Elliot Loudermilk's leaving early today. Move. Get out of here. Wow. Not necessary. Four minutes and forty seconds. Glenn Glenn Whitaker. What was the last rating on police though? Five point two Nielsen seven a share and a TVQ three. Towel. Your brother. Probably a towel. Towel. Wow. Only brother. This guy towel. is a jerk. Towel. Cross his office. Towel. BH. Most of these are towel. For a successful <laughs> businessman, he's pretty cheap. <laughs> he's a Scrooge. <laughs> Title of the movie. Have you any idea how many cats there are in this country? What? I don't have those. No. 
27 <laughs> million. Do you know how many dogs? In America. 48 million. Wow. It's we a spend lot of dogs. Billion. I have here a study from Hampstead University which shows us that cats and dogs are beginning to watch television. Mm. Start programming <laughs> right now. Wow. Years, they could become steady viewers. Programming for cats. <laughs> I mean, look, there are a lot of YouTube channels that have just cat content for cats. And they run for like eight hours. All I'm suggesting is that we occasionally throw in a little pet appeal. Some birds, a squirrel. Or mice. Mice, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's Jack what cats like, like to watch. We'll own Christmas. That's what I wanted to hear. I'll study this. Oh, thank you. If only I could fire that for son of a bitch. <laughs> You're staying here with me? We're working late. Well, I have to what? take my son to the doctor. Grace, when I work late, you work late. What? We're indivisible. If I'm working late, you gotta work late. If you can't work late, I can't work late. If I can't work late, I can't work late. Wow. He's actually a psycho. Or your brother's waiting inside. And I didn't tell him about his great Christmas towel. I feel sorry for Grace. You know what they say about treating people badly on the way up? Yep, you get to treat them badly on the way down, too. <laughs> you get too much. Ooh, I love We Three Kings. You don't like Christmas much, do you? Like it. I love it. It's cold, and people stay home and watch television. Ad revenues go up 30%. Yeah, oh, he's a capitalist. Oh, That's old. Don't start, James. Come on, the whole family will be there. It'll be fun. Look, it's a crock, James. It's for kids. You know, I like seeing you. I like being with you. Oh, shit. I want you to have a happy new year doesn't plan to see him from now until the new year. Excuse me, ma'am. I think you dropped something. Oh, wow. <laughs> An old lady. Uh. Is he flipping her off? Wow. This man is shocking. Sometimes I find myself hurting from giving too much. <laughs> I'm always going to cherish this. You know, He's such a phony. He is such a phony. My God. This is his villain arc. <laughs> oh, that was definitely Frank. Already five. Here's five. Oh, he just left his trophy. Straight vodka. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Come. I would hate to work in an empty office like this. It would creep me out. <laughs> Locking the door. Oh, something's going on. This office is closed. This whole wing is mm. closed. Grace. Grace. Oh, Grace can't help you now. Something out of a horror. What the heck? That was a good one. What the hell is that? I make myself a little drink. Like some dead guy. Oh my gosh. So he he knows this guy? Oh my gosh. Lou Hayward, your old boss. Your best friend. Oh. But you're dead. <laughs> Seven years. Is that what you look like? I mean, after that time? I guess more than three tops. <laughs> Frank, you are in trouble. Look at your future. If you don't change your ways, you're gonna wind up doomed, just as I am. Oh God, this <laughs> Oh my lord! Fourteenth hole at wing. A heart attack later. I'm a worm feast. Oh, you're not a worm feast. You're a hallucination. Russian vodka poisoned by Chernobyl. <laughs> I've been under a lot of pressure lately. I've been putting on a big silence. I headed. Oh my gosh, this. <laughs> He's scary. Don't waste your life as I did mine. Waste? How can you say that? You're a legend in this business. Mankind should have been my business. Charity. Mercy. He's like, what? what are you saying? You are going to be visited uh. by three ghosts. Oh, one of those movies. Expect the first one tomorrow at noon. The past, present, and future type. Well, maybe we could have drinks, say Thursday. You and me, the ghosts, Trader Vic's around this four. This is your last chance. I could squeeze you in for a breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting it. Wow. He's strong. Oh, God. Drop him. Just drop him. <gasps> oh! Why would you do that? Oh! If his arm breaks, you're dead. Oh! This is so gross. Oh, crap. He fell. Oh. Oh. He's alive. Hi, this is Claire Phillips. I'm not here as usual. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Claire! 
know it's been 15 years since we talked, but damn, I really need to talk to you right now. I something terrible has happened. My number is 674 nine, five, six, five. Six, seven, four, nine, five. Damn. She got it. You didn't need to repeat it. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's a golf ball. He's like, I'm going crazy. Did you get the bonus? I'm drying my head with it. Sad. What are you doing in there? Filling the tree. We don't have a tree, Mom. <laughs> we do now. Oh. No! Yes! They no, bought a tree? Oh. <laughs> That's... Oh. Mom, you look so pretty. Oh, he's sad. When they free. Are trees expensive? Oh, who's that? She's pretty. She's dead. I've never really bought my own tree. This 80-year-old grandmother was watching your Scrooge promo last night, and she just keeled over. Oh, wow. It scared her to death. Oh, my God. He's a murderer. This is terrific. I knew that had worked. Terrific? You can't buy publicity like this. <gasps> Wow. I want that promo run every half hour. I want a disclaimer at the top. Anyone with a heart condition must leave the room. <laughs> I am in shock. Sorry, Mr. Cross. I am the censor, and I will not allow this costume on the air. Why not? You can see her nipples. I want to see her nipples. <laughs> but oh, this is a Wow. Christmas Literally show. just like well, you can, uh, you can put it nipples. up. See, and these guys are really looking. <laughs> Go. Oh, watch out. Ah! Oh. Get the nurse! Get the nurse! Make sure her nipples are covered up, will you? <laughs> Lumpy. Lumpy? Oh, is that the girl he called earlier? Claire? She's got a visitor pass on. I can't Hi. read what the name says. I'm sorry to just... She's beautiful. Well, I didn't get your message until this morning, and I, I tried to call, and then I tried to call back, and they said that you were busy, so I just... She's way too good for him. God, you look different. Well, it's been a while. It's your hair. It's receding. I've never seen it so short. It makes you look. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Would you excuse me for a moment, please? Ah! He's putting it on for her. Can I her hand? No. All right, that worked. See? Oh! Boom! Little booty hair for you. Move her, please. Thanks. Is she gonna be all right? Oh yeah, she's a real pro. What about you? You you sounded like you'd seen a ghost. A ghost? Oh yeah, remember that? Remember, bud? I know that voice. That was the frightened Lumpy I heard. Excuse me, Lumpy. Around these parts, <laughs> most people call me Mr. Cross. Well, my problem is Miss Little. Oh, the mouse. Have you tried Staples? Staples. Staples? She's like. Staples. You've changed. Same old Claire. Still trying to save the world. You still trying to run it? Oh. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't changed. Get out of here! You called me. That's, well, maybe you'll answer some questions. That's the kid. Down, huh, my friend? What Isn't it? What the hell is there. going on? Yeah, that's her kid. This is my little boy. All right, you beat him. <laughs> I thought it would be fun for him to see a live television show. You see anybody having fun here? God. Why are you so angry? Why haven't you ever learned how to button a coat? Well, you know me. I just say it was in a hurry. I I would literally slap him in the face right now for being so rude. I'm sorry to have called so late last night, but I must have woken up your husband and your kids. No, no, I've never gotten married. I'm still on my own. Oh, crap. Still single, both of them. You hold the goddamn hammering place. I better go. You're busy. No! No, don't go. Would you hold the goddamn hammering, please? <laughs> oh, my God. Why does it... <gasps> Oh, what a mess. <gasps> oh, no. Make sure your nipples are covered up. This guy's face video, doesn't move. Couldn't be better, Preston. What the? And he, him too. What the heck? It's like they have Botox on. I'm afraid you might be spreading yourself a little thin. So I've taken the liberty of hiring somebody to work with you. Wow. He's not going to like that. Oh, great. He hates it. I couldn't be more pleased. He hates it. Well, we meet again. Oh, oh handshake man. <laughs> That's me. You are going to be visited by three ghosts. Is it happening now? Oh, it's Frank, happening. coming at you pretty damn fast, but I want you to understand my only function here is to take some of the burden off your shoulders. Ugh, don't of like that close up.
Why does he have to act so crazy all the time? Whoa, okay, they're gonna fire him. They're gonna ask him to go on sabbatical, the way he's acting. Are you him? Are you he? Oh my gosh, he is insane. How's the rack of land today, Bobby? Excellent choice. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable to watch. <gasps> oh my god. Ah! Bobby, look! Let me save him! Oh no, that's a big Alaska. Oh wow. He cares about someone? That's weird. <gasps> oh. Okay, he needs to take some time off work. That was really bad. Damn. Oh, I think it's happening now. I would get out of this cab. This is so chaotic so far. Relax, Frank. How do you know my name? I know absolutely everything, Frank. You see, I'm the ghost. Ah, uh, here we go. It's begun. Ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> he can't get out. Oh, <laughs> poor guy, drinking himself to death. <gasps> oh, it's just constantly done dirty. 1980 where what year are we going <laughs> oh i love a good time travel movie 1955 that's a school bus right <gasps> wait no it's not his childhood home <laughs> oh he smokes a lot this is where I grew up. I thought they tore this place down. They did. Guess my dad hasn't put up our Christmas lights yet. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Frank, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah, it's a bit late. I get it. Well, forget it, pal. You got the wrong guy. That's exactly what Attila the Hun said. But when Attila he saw his Hunt? mother, Niagara Falls. Let's get this over with. <laughs> He's like, that's ah, not going to work on me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great job. I love that bit! <laughs> <laughs> Special effects, so funny. I guess it's the 50s smoking while she's pregnant. Hmm, his dad. I've got something for you. Merry Christmas. A choo-choo train? No, it's five pounds of veal. But Daddy, I have Santa for choo-choo. Poor kid. I go out and get a job and buy a choo-choo. Why are some people parents, honestly? I'm going out. Baby, don't watch too much TV. It's bad for your eyes. Hey, Mommy. Merry Christmas, Frankie Angel. You always loved TV. Oh, Mama. Aw. Aw, he's getting emotional. Oh, he's actually crying. I was touched by a gift. Four-year-old kid receives what in today's marketplace is a 40 or $50 piece of milk for oh. meal. Wow, he's a liar. One year I hit the home run that won the big game. That was the kid on the courtship of Eddie's father. <laughs> there was another time, though. That was the Little House on the Prairie. Was it the homecoming episode of Little yes, House? Yes, it was the homecoming episode of Little House. You can't trick this guy. He knows everything. Take me to my office. Gladly. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, 1968. <gasps> Look at his hair. It was longer. You didn't happen to notice a big Christmas party going on around here. Yes, I did see one, sir. I'm, I'm going to be right on it. I'm just going to finish this. Okay. <laughs> you're not leaving, are you? Do you want to go get some Chinese food? Oh, wow, no. You're not supposed to eat that stuff. They found out that they're cutting up the alley cans and using the chop suey. It's a real bummer. Wow, this guy. Stuff. You moron, get back there. Way I am. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she wanted him. Not that one, Frankie. Not that one. This one. Oh, we going to go. Oh, this storyline. Oh, God, are you all right? You got me right here. <laughs> and the sidewalk got me back here. You had some things, didn't you? Yes. Here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll go down for you. Okay, good idea. Wait. Yes, I'll, I'll wait. Here. <laughs> Thanks, Lumpy. Thank you. Lumpy. Would you like to go to a Christmas party that's going on right now? Not really. No. Young lady! <laughs> you shop here all the time? Because if you don't, I can walk on the other side of the street. <laughs> Would you like to go get some Chinese food? Oh. Say yes. You are gonna love this. Yeah! 1969. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. You can open one on Christmas Eve. That's what we always did in my family. You have to wait until Christmas morning to open this. You want to open this one? How exciting. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think that's a good gift. Your turn. Too long. <laughs> Love, Claire. Kama Sutra. Sutra. Oh, okay. That's a lot more thoughtful. It says Christmas, and then the rest is... It's Sanskrit. It's Sanskrit. Did that. <laughs> it says there's a place that you can touch a woman that'll make her bark like a what dog. <laughs> <laughs> they seemed pretty happy. What is this? Frisbee the dog. It's a bone! <laughs> the ghost is getting into it. Oh, he was the dog. What reservation should I make? Uh, there'll be you, me, my wife. Now your wife's in Palm Springs. Well, I guess then uh, it'll be you and me. <laughs> what about him? And Frank, Frank, I want you to have dinner with us tonight. You and your girl. Clear. Right, Claire. That's and what his boss looked like before he looked dead. Claire. Yes, that's <laughs> Claire. Oh, hi. Claire's here. <laughs> Ready? Oh, they're still together at this point. The president of the network just invited us to dinner. Oh, no, we can't tonight. We're going to uh, David and Kate's for dinner. We can have dinner with them next week. Huh. It's a time to be a little bit less selfish, you know? I mean, I have been fighting for the integrity of this show. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry. Oof. Maybe we should separate for a while. See how it goes. I mean, I, I know you've been under a lot of pressure. Well, it's been rough. Try to come over later if I can. Did he not just get the part where he got broken up with? Oh, that's brutal. He's always putting work before his relationships. You don't know who you are, what you want, and you don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> but I know who I am. I know what I want, and I know what's going on. Over here. What's going on? <laughs> hold on, hold, taxi! Oh, now he's in the present? May you be happy with the path that you have chosen. <laughs> well, I am happy with the path that I've chosen, you little bitch. <laughs> You left me. You had to go somewhere and get your head together or something. Well, baby, my head is just fine. Check it out. Now he's right talking to himself in public. When I want a wife, I'm going to buy one. That sounds great. And she's going to be devoted to me, to my wants and my needs. Not like you. He's Let's such a little baby. Like, Honey, you look frozen. Let me come over here. <laughs> Let me he's get so down. petty, dude. Hi, Dick. Hermit. I'm Billy. Oh, they're so nice. Leave me alone. Help the homeless buy a ticket. Oh, that's Claire. Oh, God. Oh, God. He just kissed her, and this is the present. I have been thinking a lot about the past. What would have happened if I had made different decisions? One good thing about regret is that it's never too late. Oh, she wants him as well? I want to take you someplace right now and eat. Chinese food. They ate our cues and the whole joint. The oh. A&P couldn't send any turkeys. No. Oh, no. Okay. No, clear. Please, fire these people. They're volunteers. They're here out of the kindness of their hearts. They're volunteers because no one will pay them. They are incompetent. This is such cringe behavior. They're just wait one minute. I just got to I wouldn't even call. make no, him wait. Bother. I'd be like, get lost. Don't bother. Okay. Take the rest of your life. I'm going to give you some advice, Claire. Scrape them off. You want to save somebody? Save yourself. Why would she oh, even give him the time of day? His attitude is disgusting. Like, just the way that he's talking to other people. That's such a red flag. Herman, I blew it all on Liz. There's a sucker inside. Such a Scrooge. He's nicer. Jealous? Man, baby, how are you? Man, baby, how are you? You better get out of here. Hey! Maybe join your colleagues for dinner? Is it the ghost of Christmas future now? Hi. Showing him how lonely he's going to be? Oh, I'm with your mother. She's so familiar. <laughs> he's like, what the hell am I looking at? Ugh. <laughs> Flying now. Oh, wow. Deserved. Sometimes you have to slap them in the face just to get their attention. <laughs> but you kicked me in the ball. Uh, I like this lady. Close your eyes. You close your eyes. I'm through. Don't you close them. Close your eyes. Oh. Wow. This fairy. Leave it alone. No one can do it. I bet Calvin can. He's secretly a genius. Oh, look. He did it. <laughs> He's a bright little guy. Oh, yes. What's wrong with him? 
He hasn't spoken since he saw his father killed five years ago. <gasps> oh, that's why. I didn't know that Grace's husband had died. I remember her wearing black, but I thought it was a fashion thing. I mean, people were wearing black. <laughs> wow. Doesn't ask? Like, how's your life? It's his choice. Only he can break the spell. God bless us. No, Calvin's a sweetie. <laughs> if I was their family, I'd be like, what the hell is my Scrooge boss doing here? Get the hell out. <laughs> I love her. She, she's a fairy, but she's so violent. Oh, his brother. It looks like a bear commercial. Let's go in. I got to open your brother's present. Oh, the towel. Last year, a shower curtain. It was a beautiful shower I love it. Yeah. Lots of thoughtless yeah. gifts well, you, from this guy. You invite him to Christmas dinner every year, and every year he's too busy to come. And when are you going to learn? Well, never. He's, he's my brother. Oh, He's got such a sweet brother. To my brother Frank, I wish he was here. We were. Mm. Oh my gosh. This fairy is unhinged. Damn. <laughs> Where is he now? He's in, like, the sewers. What? What the heck? Oh, is that the homeless guy? That he didn't give $2 to? That is rather dark. He froze to death. Maybe I should have given you the two bucks, huh? Yeah, you think? You jerk! Why didn't you stay with Claire? She would have taken care of you. You would have eaten. You would have been warm. You might be alive. You'd be a prettier color, I'll tell you that! You can't hear you, bud. Knock, try and knock it down. Oh, 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 yeah, she did. Oh my gosh. Oh, this poor woman. I'm surprised he's not fired. Uh oh. <laughs> he's in the show, Mr. Cross, as the ghost of Christmas future. Ring a bell. Tonight, live on IBC, the world premiere telecast of a Christmas classic. Charles Dickens' immortal Scrooge. I've actually never heard of that story before. Charles Dickens' is Scrooge. Old Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> He's just having straight vodka at that point. Oh. You see? Works like a charm. Oh, the cats love it. Oh. To Frank, the best. To Frank, the best brother a guy ever had. Oh, that's super cute. Soon you shall be visited by the final spirit ghost. Christmas future. I'd like a visit from the ghost of the Christmas future. I think it'd be interesting. <laughs> Are you seeing what's happening? Look at it. Oh, gr oh, crap. Okay, maybe I don't want to visit from the ghost of Christmas future. Honey, I'm home. <gasps> I told you this was his villain arc. Remember me, boss? The guy came the day before Christmas. Merry Christmas. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> he just ran past him. I thought he was going to attack him. Let me tell you a little bit about my day. I got fired. My wife left me. Oh, what? Wife too? That's really sad. <laughs> Man, the lift needs to hurry up. How the hell did he get in the building without a security pass? <laughs> he got lucky. Aren't you supposed to be in the studio? We're on the air. I think this is the real one. May I? Yeah, it's the real one. <laughs> oh, that's really alarming. Visiting hours are over, Mrs. Cooley. Mrs. Cooley? What? Why is she? His son still hasn't spoken? Now, this is just possible future, right? I mean, this is... This is doable. I know the head of pediatrics at NYU that we can get this kid out of here right away. <laughs> at least he cares about Calvin. <laughs> Wait. Will you look at that? Look at those filthy little creatures. Oh, Claire. 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 That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, is that Claire? Just children. I 
I've wasted 20 years of my life on pathetic little creatures like those. A friend of mine said to me, scrape them off, Claire. Oh. You want to save somebody. Save yourself. Oh. I'm sorry, Claire. That's what she becomes? So she doesn't seem to be happy. Oh, no. James. His brother? Why did this have to happen? How did James die? Well, there he is, James! Who's in there? Lord <gasps> oh, it's him. What, that I've died? James, help me. James can't hear you, pal. I just want to know how old he is when he dies. Maybe in like another 15 years he dies. <gasps> oh, it's like alive in there. <laughs> this is so stressful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a guy with a gun. Just rehire him. No, don't do that to everyone. HR will be up your ass. I've changed. It's a Christmas miracle. What time? We didn't miss it. We didn't miss what? <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, I got it. Oh, God. Holy shit, that's Frank Cross. He's finished. Don't touch that dial and stay out of What's your name, son? Oh, wow. My They're definitely boy. fired. I am is he supposed Cross. to be in the show? I am the president what of the IAC the... Network. Good evening and Merry Christmas. I don't think you're going to be president tomorrow. <laughs> You can bet your Aunt Susie's ass can Oh, no. I don't think he cares now. All of these people, I'm sure, have incredible families, but I have. Look, I got a great brother. Look at this guy here. Oh. Look how cute he was back then. Oh, Jay. I got this for Christmas today from him. I gave him a towel. The VCR is from Grace, James. He didn't have to admit that. <laughs> you were right about everything, okay? Except what was the ship that brought them all to Gilligan's Island? The SS Minnow. No points this He's going to be like, what? How does he know? You, you can call people that you haven't seen. You can call a college roommate. You can call... Oh, Claire's you know, watching, I'm sure. Hey! I don't hear any partying in that boat, Elliot! Great! <gasps> oh! Oh my... Okay, we're partying! <laughs> there is a girl that I wish I were with tonight. It's a girl that I, I loved a long time and a girl that I still love. Aww. It's Christmas Eve. It's not too late, is it? Oh. Claire, do you remember? Oh. Remember? Nothing here. You circle me, chanting, burning incense before we begin. Oh, they're dying. <laughs> I think we could do this without oh. serious physical Ooh. or psychological. Oh my gosh, this is a kids program. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that. The commercial was pretty bung. Can you get me to the IBC building in three minutes? Which floor? <laughs> Him. <laughs> <laughs> on the VCR, of course. It's Christmas Eve. It's, it's the one night of the year when we all, we are the people that we always hoped we would be. It's a, hey, even his boss is like, really you know sort of what? Because True. Happens. You do have to get involved. There are people that don't have enough to eat. That there are people that are cold. You can go out and say hello to these people. You can take Grace is like, wow. I get it now. If you believe in this spirit thing. Maybe Calvin will be inspired and he'll and talk. I believe in it I just, now. I love the I passion. I'm ready for oh, it. the emotion. It's great. It's a good feeling. It's it's really better than I've felt in a long time. Mm. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Calvin, say something. Calvin. Get something, big man. God blesses everybody. <gasps> oh, goosebumps. Calvin, you're talking. Oh, that makes me want to cry. And there she is. She got here really fast. She is so beautiful. Lumpy. I kind of hate that nickname for him, though. Clear the whole world, whole world clear, and they lived happily ever after. Oh. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> and the world and see. I have to say that the plot to this movie was very, very predictable, and I've seen this concept been done before. I've seen. This show called, you guys might not know it, but this show called Popular that I used to watch, it's actually how I got my name Mary Cherry. There is a character in that show called Mary Cherry, but they did a Christmas special on that show where I think it was Nicole 
She went through the exact same thing that Frank was going through in Scrooge. Basically, she had the ghost of Christmas past, present and future go to her because Nicole is just this terrible character. So I could see where this movie was going. And of course, you expect that the protagonist of this film is going to have to change. This is a Christmas movie. But in saying that, it was still fun and entertaining to watch. Would I put it at the top of my list for Christmas movies? I think Bad Santa is probably still at the top and Grinch and Elf. Grinch and Elf I've seen, so they're not on my channel. You wouldn't have seen those. I've seen those two movies so many times. I absolutely love them. I would say those are my favorite Christmas movies. And I recently watched It's a Wonderful Life on my channel too. That's definitely got to be up there too. This one was still really entertaining and I completely missed it. But Claire was also in Indiana Jones. I was like, this woman is very familiar, but I didn't want to say anything just in case I got it wrong. But yes, Claire loved her loved her in indiana jones as well she was way too good for frank throughout the whole movie you can tell that she is still in love with frank and you know you can't help your feelings it's been 15 years but you know you can't help your feelings they had a long and loving relationship that obviously meant a lot to the both of them but when she re-meets frank he's just such a jerk to everyone around him he's so angry he's so rude he has no empathy but she still keeps giving him a chance and she still wants to give him the time of day and i think that's unconditional love but if it were me i'd be like this man he's not only not changed but he's gotten worse. He's gotten worse and he's just a terrible human to the people around him. And Claire is just such a charitable, kind-hearted person. And I think that's one of the reasons why she was giving him the time of day. But for me, I just saw red flags everywhere. And to all of Claire's friends, I'm surprised they didn't tell her that this man is just a walking red flag. <laughs> But they were really happy for her at the end when he made that dedication to her on live TV. I thought that was really sweet. And I think that's why they were rooting for him then, because at that point they were like, yes, OK, this man has changed and things could be different this time. I am happy for him. I am happy for her. I think that they definitely were each other's ones in life. And the cutest thing ever was the little kid as well. He talked that was a Christmas miracle. That's probably why he was shown in the future as being held up in a, I guess, psych ward because he still hasn't talked because obviously in his future, Frank stayed the same and he didn't have that moment in the end of the film where he hijacked live television. <laughs> so the fact that he did that changed that little boy's future. And I thought that was really, really sweet. Who's to say if Frank will keep his job tomorrow? Honestly, if this was the real world, probably not. <laughs> But at the end, when we saw his boss at home with his wife, he started to warm up to Frank, I think. So maybe he will keep his job. Maybe that will be another Christmas miracle. I think if he does keep his job, he'll definitely do things differently. And if he doesn't, he'll probably go the charitable route, just like Claire. And maybe they'll start up a foundation together. Hell, Frank definitely has the money that he could invest that type of thing in. He was such a Scrooge throughout the entire film, but I feel like this entire ordeal, this hopefully would have changed him. <laughs> Overall, I'd probably rate the movie a six and a half out of 10, just because I found it to be very predictable and I knew exactly what was going to happen. I feel like most people, even if they haven't seen that episode of Popular that I'm talking about, could have anticipated everything that was going to happen. Uh, the one thing that did confuse me was Claire's patience. <laughs> that was that. Mm, I didn't see that coming, but she has a better heart than me and far more patience than I would ever have. So good on you, Claire. Love you. You're amazing. Also really loved Frank's brother. He was just a sweetheart. And for a lot of his life, he was taken for granted. So I'm happy that Frank and his brother are going to have a much stronger and closer relationship after this. And I love a good character progression story. And that was exactly what happened to Frank. He was complete jerk at the beginning of this film and completely turned around and I love to see that for people. So yeah guys let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my channel out. The uncut version of this reaction is going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me and there'll be a timer so that we're watching it at the same time. Down below in the description bar and in the pinned comments you can also find all of my social media handles Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel and my vlog channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Scrooge with me. Had a really good time. Hope you guys had a good time too. Merry Christmas, guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.
Thank you.